All right, roundhouse kick self-defense, one to five. Slow down a little bit, a little explanation. So again, with one, two, and three, we're low blocking with the rear hand inside to block the roundhouse kick. The lead hand's going over the shoulder to create this nice barricade to the side of our body so we don't get kicked in the face. We also don't get kicked in the side. Pivot of the hip to turn the blocking surface towards the kicking leg. Turning, turning. So as he kicks, block, then I'm grabbing it, grabbing the shoulder, keeping the leg tight to my chest, stepping in and behind, and he's going down. Once I do that, I'm cupping my hands together, thumbs by each other, grabbing the blade of the hand, pressing my thumbs towards my chest, and then turning my shoulders. If his foot's straight up and you're not quite getting it, it's a good idea to turn the knee in so his foot turns slightly, and then you can go back into this crunch and turn position. Number two, same block. Now I'm grabbing over the top, okay? So as I block, trap, block, trap. So the kick's coming, block, Trap, hold it to my body, and then I'm shuffling straight back, pull. And of course, my partner has to make sure they're doing a front fall. Again, same hold, and then I start rotating my body, not my hands, I'm rotating my shoulders. Number three, same block and turn again. As the kick comes, now instead of grabbing here, I'm grabbing on the heel because I want to use it as a handle to rotate. So from here, pulling this in, grabbing the ankle. This foot now is going to circle step backwards instead of slide back. And make this turn. Again, he's hooked on my arm. I'm grab that knee, or I mean grab my hands and turn the heel towards the other side. Number four. Now we're changing back now to the four and five with the lead hand low blocking. I have to turn my hip as that happens, otherwise it doesn't block my middle. Reason I'm doing the lead now is because I'm circle stepping in on these next two, four and five. Again, hand goes up, create that barricade. He's kicking, block, circle step, and this elbow goes in. Now, the elbow is what we're using for the self-defense. Uh, number four could be a knife hand chop, could be a kick, could be blocking. And, and it's a lot of different things it can be depending on the distance, but we're using the elbow for the drill. Once again, kick and block, elbow. All right, number five, same block, same turn. Reason we're uh, turning this way now is to get out of the way of the kick. So if he kicks just by stepping properly, I can get away from the kick. But to add some security in, he's not gonna kick again. As he kicks, grabbing, and now all of this is going with me. And because of the speed at which it happens, his energy is going that way, I'm going that way. It makes it easy to fall down. Now stance we're using is fighting stance, turns into the next uh, fighting stance. But leg distance may mean I need to slide that leg back into a front stance that he will trip over. So he's kicking, lock and turn, boom. Hook under the leg on the calf, thumbs are pointing at a 45, grab the blade of my hand, 
sit into my horse stance and using the bone of my wrist up into his Achilles tendon. Now, if I'm too shallow down towards the base of his ankle, it doesn't work good. If I'm too close to the knee, it doesn't work good either. So I need to slide it around right under the calf, near the ankle and, or the heel, but not as far down as the heel. And lift. 